Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to uh, a mag. It's going to be uh, Let's Make a Game. But I had a request, and I've been getting requests like this a lot to do more programming and application stuff. So before we get started, hit the like, comment, subscribe button, notifications on, blah. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> so this is going to be how to like create your own admin panel. Um, a lot of people have requested this. A lot of people seem to be having trouble with this. So I've got a brand new base plate pulled up here. A couple of things that we're going to discuss. First off, if you're going to make your own admin panel and stuff like that, you don't want somebody else getting a hold of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a remote event that is going to fire off whenever an admin uh, command is requested. But we're also going to check to see if the admin is on the admin list. Uh, we're going to check if they're banned, if they're on the ban list, and we're going to check to see if they've got the GUI. So. <clears throat> Hopefully I can make this pretty fast. Um, first things first, let's go over to replicated storage right up here. And we're going to put in a new remote event. Oh, wow. Recently used. We're just going to call this admin re. Admin remote event. Okay. And then that way we can go in here to server side scripts. We're going to create an actual script script. We're just going to call this one admin. Now, before we do anything, there's a couple of things that we want to do. First off... This is my awesome admin code uh, 2022. There we go. Um, we want to, what do we want? We want the admin RE. So local admin RE equals um, game get, get service. Wow, it's been a second. Uh, replicated storage and uh, dot admin re just like that so this way whenever our, our script fires up we can just have a reference called admin re next we're going to do local um what do we need we need uh data data services right we need data services uh, is that right hold on let me look at my old code oh there we go so we're going to make a couple of lists or a couple of tables admins admins okay and we're going to make local bands equals this and i don't think we're going to be using a log don't worry about logs yet and then uh we're going to need that data storage service so again let's do local dss data storage service equals game get service data store service just like that Okay, that way we can just reference it one time. DSS is data storage services. Um, we need uh, local admin data. Data. And we're going to do that as a DSS git data store. Oh, by the way, if you don't if you don't know, this is code that I've, I've already done. This is out of um, what is this out of? Uh, my lumber. This is this is the my lumber admin panel. So we're just we're just going to show you what this does. Uh, data store and it's going to be called admins admins and then uh, should we, uh, let's just say admin so I'm not getting lost local uh, band data and data equals DSS get data store band and we don't need the log so we can carry on um, we do want to check admin. So we're going to put a function in here, uh, local function, check admin, and we're going to pass in the player data. So that's the first function we want. What else do we want? We want check bands. So local function, check ban player, oh, lowercase player. Hold on, did my music just end? What happened to my music? Oh, it did. Uh, let's put it on a loop. There you go, buddy. That should be a uh, fat rat, yay. So we've got a um, couple of local variables, got our remote function, got our tables. Uh, and then down here at the bottom, we're also going to connect this together with um, player added. Hold on, what is that? Check admin, check bands. We want to check the bands first. So we're going to do game.players.add. 
dot player added colon connect check fan and then game dot players dot player added connect check admin and then finally we want the admin re dot on server event we're going to connect connect oh I didn't put that in there did I admin commands admin cmd which we need to go back and create admin commands ha 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 okay check bands admin commands there we go so the final one that we want oh, oh, actually wait do we have to declare those first no it's fine uh, local wow locale local function admin cmd and it's going to be uh, the admin that sent it the command that they sent wow cmd the target and a reason so reason is usually used for like the logs and stuff like that since we're not using a log in this one we'll just take that out so three main functions we're going to check the admins check if the player's been banned and then we're going to check um the, the or we're going to activate the actual command so this way if somebody sends a command to us uh, sends a command to that remote event the server side is going to check to see if they're actually on the admin list if they're not then we're going to return a false so um and you might be asking the like, code what are all this what is all this stuff doing um it's real simple a lot of people will have admin commands inside their game and other people can start invoking them but they never get checked to see like are you allowed to invoke that command this way we can check if they're not an admin if they're not on that list automatically bans just just kick them out boom you weren't supposed to issue that command so off you go um how do we check for bans okay Oh gosh, it has been quite some time. All right, to check for bands, that we'll we'll do this one first. We'll say local band ID is equal to the player that we passed in user ID, lowercase d, and then we're going to do local success and error equals p call. And what a p call does is it runs a command. And if that command fails, it doesn't kill your script. It just returns an error to the uh, the variable that you gave it. Function um, ban reason equals ban data get async. Wow, it's been a while since I've done this. Ban ID. So. Basically, we're going to pass in the player, and the player's user ID is going to be passed back to us. And then we're going to use that data uh, store that we pulled up earlier here, oh, right here. We're going to check the ban data, uh, the ba bad data, bad data, no, ban, ban data. Why is that? Why is that? Um, I guess I could call that local, local, because we didn't. We didn't put in a ban reason. So it's giving me an error. That's fine. <laughs> okay. That should be it. Right? I need an end right here. End. So that's the full P call. So we're going to try and get the ban data for the ban ID. And if they are banned, we should return a success. If success, then if ban reason then okay so first off were we successful and i spelled success wrong stop making fun of me in the comments i can hear you right now <laughs> uh oh that's why i didn't do local because it doesn't know what it is down here unknown global so let's do this local ban reason equals nil that means it's just blank that way we can take out the local right here and it won't give us an error because we declared it. So it won't go outside this function either if we need the ban reason. 
Um, down here, if success, then, ban reason, then we're going to player, ooh, kick, and ban, uh, you are banned, reason, colon, space, double dot, ban reason. So, and that's, that's only if we have a, a log in there, but we don't have a log. Um, so if success else, uh, we're going to say error, which should print it out on the console. Could not check for ban. No, could not check ban for space dot dot player dot name colon. Oh, we need a dot dot in between that concatenate. Dot dot. Um, <clears throat> player dot user ID, and then we want concatenate concatenate space this out a little bit. Dot dot and the error that we got. So this will return what kind of error it was, and if it gets passed down here, successful wouldn't be passed, but that means the error will be passed and we can just say that's the reason right there. That should show up on the uh, the server logs, but I'm not sure that the ban reason errors, yeah, that's not. So that will check for the bans. <coughs> um, so we can come over here and we can wrap that up. That way it's nice and buttoned up tight. Um, checking for admin is a little bit more difficult. It's about the same process. So, if player.name is equal to admin data, get async player.userid, then, um, and then we can put in else. <clears throat> we'll get to the destroying of the panel later. We'll do return false. So, and this one's actually really simple. Return true. So, check if there is player data inside admin data for the, the player ID or the player name or the user ID, then yeah, they're an admin. They can use the command. So, right there. We just did a, a nice simple check before running any of this stuff. So, we're going to do um, if check admin player, then down here, we're going to do an else. And this is the fun part. We're going to do um, a ban right away. So ban data set async admin dot user ID, right, admin dot user ID. Oh, 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 right here, admin. This is the person that passed in the command. I'm sitting here going like, how did we get admin dot user ID? So this is gonna be the user ID of the person that tried to send in the thing and comma, the value is going to be attempted to invoke the admin remote event. So there, right off the bat, admin, which is the player, kick, kicked for attempting admin commands. And that's it. I mean, that's, that's the basics of the entire script. Okay. So, um, we got the admins, we got the bands. They all get synced in. Why did this not come in? Oh, check admin player. We're gonna do check admin admin because technically that's the admin. I guess we could just call it player, but we don't want to call it player. We're gonna call it admin. So um, now that we have a, the basics set up, all right, we can now go to um, our GUI. Wait, 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 we're starting GUI right there, okay. And we'll just make a simple, simple screen GUI. Call this the uh, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened there? Blink. No, not F2. There we go. Admin panel. And we're going to add a frame. We can move this frame like right over here somewhere. And what I like to do, this is just me. I like to make um, two things. I like to make an admin button. When you click on it, it'll show the panel. Uh, so let's make this panel. And let's add uh, just a, a text button. All right, the text button is going to be right here. And we don't want it like right in the middle because we still want a place to put things. But we will do this. Okay, so the admin panel should be smack dab in the middle. There we go. So that's the panel. And this text button is going to be called BTN admin. So I, I like using the old school uh, visual visual basic 3.0 naming schemes, which was always like BTN one or BTN open, BTN close. That stood for button. Labels were LBL, text boxes were te uh, TXT. Um, there was other stuff, forms, FRMs. So I still use that naming scheme today just because it's it's nice. <clears throat> but inside this one, we're going to do a local script and this local script is going to be hide show. And we're going to do this. Um, admin, let's see, local admin panel equals uh, script dot well, script dot parent dot parent because we're inside the button right now we need to go up one up one more and then dot panel so um, we need to connect the click how do we connect the click oh gosh here's something I haven't done for a while uh, starter GUI admin button 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 menu Menu. Wait, which one's the menu? Menu. There it is. Okay. Oh, oh. I didn't even do that. Hold on. So, I'm going to move this up. This is actually going to be the admin panel script, which, because we moved it, we're going to have to change these parents and stuff. So, dot parent dot panel. I think dot panel. Wow, parnet parent dot panel. There we go. So um, we're also going to have to declare the button admin. Local btn admin equals script dot parent. Wow, I do not want to do script dot parent the entire time. So we're we're going to do this. Local this equals script dot parent. So we can just say this. This dot panel and this dot btn admin. So btn admin uh, colon or dot is it on on trigger? There's a trigger. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I might have to spell this out long ways to get the uh, auto complete parent dot btn admin dot click mouse button one click colon connect there we go so now I can take this out and just say this dot connect um, hide show and we'll create a function local function called hide show. So um, if admin panel dot enabled, is it, is it called enabled? Where's the, uh, where's the thing? Active, visible, visible. There we go. So it's called visible. So this is what we're going to do. If it's visible, it uh, pops up. If it's not, it 
goes away. Um, there's other things you could do. You could hide it off the screen and have it come in with a tween, which is a, a really fancy way of making menus and stuff appear. I'm not that fancy. I just like functional. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this panel hide and disappear. So if admin panel dot visible, then admin panel dot visible visible equals false else admin panel dot visible equals true. There we go. So fingers crossed. Oh yeah, I messed something up there. Jeez. Well, at least it appears and disappears. So our button is working. Stop. All right, let's go back and see what was that? Could not check for bands. API service rejected. H two four three forbidden. Oh, did we not turn on the the things? Do we have to publish this in order to get it to work correctly? Dang it! All right, hold on. File. Save to Roblox as. We're just gonna call it creating a game. Admin panel example. The test to make an an admin panel. Creator is me. Yep, computers, tablets, phones, that's fine. Should work for all of them. Admin panel, successful. Good. Now we can go to uh, advanced properties. No. Um which game game properties. Game properties. Oh, that's fun. Not knowing where stuff is. Great. Customize shortcut and manage no, studio settings. Beta features online. Help. Oh gosh, where's the uh the thing? Close place. No. I want the options. Where's the options menu? View? View asset manager. Oh wait, do we have to do it from the website? All right, admin panel. There we go. Settings, configure experience. Uh, it's still private. Where's the HTTP request stuff at? Enable API access. Save. There we go. Let's try that. And F5. Hey, hey, no errors. So you have to do that. Uh, Enable studio access to API services so you can test it out. <clears throat> but this will let us run around. Yay. Hello, everyone. What? So, stop. And then we should be able to go to. Um, I checked admin for. Uh, let's see. Checked admin. Where's check admin at? Ban reasons. Check for admin. If is admin, no, that's the admin command. Check bands. Let's check admin. There it is. Uh, so let's just do this. Print is admin. And then down here we'll do a print is not admin. So if you look, I'm currently not the admin. See, is not admin. To add yourself, what you're going to do is you need to know your uh, your ID which is real simple. Come over here, find your code primate, and I'm just gonna look for my number, maybe. Where's the user ID? Oh, it's under players, 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 players. There we go, Char character appearance ID, character user ID, that one right there. Copy, stop, and I'll just push one in here real quick. So, let's see. Um, let's do, 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 do admin data set a sync. We're just going to type in my player ID, comma admin, like that. So that should work real quick. Hit stop. Take that back out. If we hit F5 now, oh no, is not admin. 
No! What happened? Stop. What did I do wrong? Control Z. Set async. Did I do set async correctly? Oh, if player dot name. Well, we don't want player dot name. If player dot name equals. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Code priming. So, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. That was completely my bad. I didn't even look right here. So, the player name is the player user ID sync. So, the <laughs> reference is the player's ID, and the data that it returns is the player's name. So, let's try that. Stop it. So that should have synced, maybe. I'll take it out, hit F5. There we go, is admin. So now I am an admin, I can use these buttons. Awesome. <clears throat> um, so I guess I don't need to say is admin or is not admin, but it's fine. So this will allow me to actually send commands and Check ban, uh, player ban ID, blah, blah, blah. Good, 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 good. So let's go back over to the uh, admin panel and we're go just going to add some things in here. So let's go ahead and add, what do we want? What do we want? We want the ability to type in somebody's name. So let's add a text box. So right here. We'll add in a text label. Now there is a better way to do this, which I totally get, but I'm not doing that right now. And the text label is going to be called LBL player name. The text box is gonna be called TXT player name, just like that. Um, my panel on my lumber, it actually has a um, the ability to hit a button and it refreshes the player list by creating the list and you just select them and then the command that you want. For this, you're just gonna have to type them in. I'm not gonna go into details about it, but <clears throat> should we frame that up there at the top? Yeah, let's go ahead and frame that. We're gonna put in another frame and these two things are gonna go inside that frame. That way we can kind of squish it down a little bit. Why is this moved all over the place? There we go. Oh, it's squishing. It's going off percentage. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Let's not frame that. Let's put that back on the panel. Kill that frame. Because it's just, it's confusing me. Player, there we go. Line those up. And now, Let's add a button to, uh, let's see, button, 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 button. We can do text buttons, right? Text buttons, we'll just call this one BTN kick. And we'll do um, text button BTN freeze. And when we have a freeze button, we need a, a button. And we'll call this BTN, oh. BTU, BTN unfreeze. So these are, are three simple commands. Um, oh, because we do have the ban, we'll do BTN ban as well. Oops. <laughs> wow, where did that go? Button, button, button. I didn't add it. Dang it. Text button. Uh, TXT, no, BTN ban. There we go. So, out of all of these, we're going to definitely need a, a player list. Hold on, is that a label? Why did we add the text label? Here, kill that one. We don't need that one. This, come here, come here. Dang it. That goes right up there. BTN kick. We're going to change the text to kick.
BTN ban. We're going to change it to ban. Unfreeze. We're going to change it to unfreeze. And we're going to need one more. What do we have? Freeze. So, freeze. There we go. So, we've got freeze. We've got unfreeze. We've got kick. We've got ban. So I don't like the order that those are going in. So we are going to add a, another frame. We'll just put all of our buttons inside of it. Oh, 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 come on. Frame. CMDs. We'll call these commands. Make it right there. Now, if I take all of these buttons and I place them inside the commands, and then I add this thing called UI size constraint grid layout. Is it grid layout? List layout? Let's do grid. That looks kind of cool. Hmm, sort of. But we can, uh, what this does is it'll organize all of our buttons for us. And there should be border panel size is going to be zero. And the panel sizes themselves. Hold on, do they have a panel sizes? Anchor point, no, that's not it. Where's the size? Position. Oh, <laughs> I was looking at the wrong one. All right, so here we go. Cell padding is about five. Cell sizes are 100. We're gonna put these down to 20 by 50. Wow, that was wrong. Let's try 50 by 20. Those look better. So we can just keep adding more and more commands. Um, because this is where we're supposed to be typing, I'm actually going to change the player name, background, to like, uh, hold on, where's background color? It's border color, background color. We're gonna change this to like a, uh, let's, let's do pink, let's do a pink color. What goes good with pink um, for text? We have text color, text color, text color, there we go. What about bright yellow? Is that too like pastelish looking? Yeah, it's not too bad. Text size, let's go up to 28. There we go. And I guess we don't really need it that big because we're going to make a nice, easy, oh, everything's stretching. That's because it's all on the panels. Dang it. I don't want it to stretch like that. It's horrible. Okay, you know what? We can just pull this down like that. We'll make that same size, same thing. This can come down, there we go. And do we not change the label of this? Label. Player name. There we go. So nice and simple. <clears throat> but now we need to go into our admin script and we need to make um, all of these connected. So just like before, what we'll do is We'll set this, um, hold on, we'll do this. Um, buttons. So local BTN kick, local BTN ban, local BTN freeze, local BTN unfreeze. So basically we're just defining what these are. And it equals this dot panel dot commands dot btn kick. Same thing here. Uh, to make this simpler, we can actually do this. Um, local cmds equals this dot panel dot cmds. So instead of having to type all that stuff out each time, we can just type in cmds 
dot button kicks equals cmds dot btn ban equals cmds dot btn freeze equals cmds dot btn unfreeze which should be the name of all the things so um, we're going to need a function. So the hide, hide show is good. We can get rid of that, or we can button it up. And we want local function um, kick. No, no, no. Admin? Admin commands. Hold on. What did I do for my other one? <clears throat> Under my lumber, what did I do? Yeah, this is the same thing that I'm doing over here. So text, reasons, blah, 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 all the different things. We define them, but then, hold on, how do I send the command? Load user. Oh, that's for loading the thing. Send admin. There we go. So this is a nice and easy function that just launches it. Local send admin cmd. I have a capital CMD in there. Why, why do I care about a capital CMD? I guess I don't, really. CMD. So the command that we're going to send. If, uh, well, let's do, where is it? Player name. Oh, I guess we do have to do, uh, Local, let's call it target equals this dot, let's see, admin panel txt player. This dot panel dot txt player name. Okay, so this right here corresponds with this text box right here. And what we want to do is if that right there, if target, target, if target dot text equals blank, or if target dot text is nil is equal to nil, then um, target dot text equals no we don't want to do that print you need a target first else we're going to invoke the server command so uh, oh we didn't define the admin command here did we Oh, goodness me. Okay, so local admin re equals game get service replicated storage dot admin, what was it called? Admin re. So admin re is now referenced and we can do admin re colon fire server with the command and uh, target dot text and we're not using reasons so we don't have to use a reason so the, even though we're only sending two things here it actually sends three things it sends the person the command and the target so um, when we do button admin click, we do the hide show. So then we need to do btn kick um, dot mouse button one click colon connect. And we're going to call function send admin kick. And that feels right. That does feel right. So let's go back over to our admin command itself 
and we're going to look at the commands. Uh, if they are an admin, and then if cmd, well, I guess it's got capitals over there. Let's uh, let's lowercase this because I don't want to be messed up in between the two different scripts. If cmd is equal to kick, uh, did we do capital over here? We did, yeah, we did capital. Then um, print, you just sent the kick command to the server. So let's try that real quick. Oh gosh, I hope I didn't mess anything up. I messed something up. I'm in panel except the identifier when you got then. Then, then. I got double thens. All right, there we go. Stop. And play. Oh, play. What's going on here? Play. There we go. And we got a double and then. Or. I guess I need to take out that F, right? Stop. F5. Hey, no problem. So we're just going to type in test, hit kick. You sent the kick command to the server. Nice. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to issue a command to remove myself from that admin script, that admin panel. Hold on, where did I do that? The admin. Didn't I do it in here somewhere? Oh gosh, I don't want to undo all that. So if we just do, um, let's see, if I just type admin data, incomplete statement assignment, expect a call. Okay, so admin data colon set async, and then did I still have my number pasted? There we go. Stack begin, stack ended. Attempted to index nil. Dang it. Okay, stop. <clears throat> so if we do not have permission, so let's do this. Admin data set async. The music's kind of annoying. <laughs> Am I spelling this right? Set async. And then my number nil. It should say is not an admin or something like that. Second argument missing. Okay, fine, stop. Second argument is going to be blink. Oh, why did you do doubles like that? Undo that. There you go, do that. Do that. Should say is not admin. Check in admin. Okay, so it says I am not an admin. So I'm going to attempt a kick on test. User ID is not a valid member of players that could prime it. What? User ID. Oh no, I had a capital D on there. Okay. Let's go back over. Where's that kick? There we go, D. So even though I have the admin panel, even though I'm logged into the game, got all the cool stuff, I'm gonna hit kick. Oh, oh you have been kicked from this experience. Kicked for attempting the admin commands. So, it's working. Thank God. <laughs> this video would have been a real flop if it wasn't working. You understand? You know? So uh, I do need to come back in here and we're going to put it in manually. So, not that one. Do, 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 over here. Admin panel, admin for experience. Where did I do that a second ago? In the admin? Admin, there we go. We'll do it right up here. Admin data set async number 
go to prime it. Let that tank real quick. Good. And now we can kill it. Now it should say down here in my output that I am an admin. Oh, you were kicked from this experience. You are banned. Reason attempting to invoke admin remote connects. Oh no! <laughs> I did my check user first. Okay. So that means we need to get rid of the ban as well. Dang it. Ban data set async uh, my player number and then to nothing. Hopefully, hopefully that sets it. Okay, so we're no longer banned. And now we need to set admin data. Set async code primate. Give it a second. Set async is not a valid member of the data store data admin. What? Am I, did I spell it wrong? Did I spell it wrong? I did spell it wrong. Dang it. There we go. Try that. Cool. <clears throat> now we can kill it. Take that back out. Actually, you know what? We're just going to comment this in. And I also, I also want that other one. Uh, ban data set async me comma to nothing. Copy. Wow. Wow. There we go. Just in case I end up banning myself again. Not that I'm going to like, per, like create anything from this game. You've been kicked. You've been banned. Reason for this attempting. What? Okay, so. Is it because I misspelled those things a second ago? All right, hit stop. We should be able to take those back out because it happens almost instantly. So we should be good to go. Is admin, you were kicked for this from this server. Ban reason? Banned. Dang it. <laughs> Okay, so where do we check the ban at? So right here, ban ID. If ban reason, if ban reason is not, no. If ban reason, Hmm. I thought I got rid of the ban reason. Can we do this? Can I set it to nil? Missing or nil. Argument two is missing or nil. Huh. What if we set it to none? Okay, so if ban reason, let's see, if ban reason equals none, then don't do anything. So we're just going to put a comment here, do nothing. Else, kick the player for the reason. There we go. So I hit stop. Um, that should fix me getting banned and kicked and banned and kicked, which is kind of funny. I like it. All right. Double check that. Okay. We're all set. And I am an admin. So hit stop. Uh, let's go back over here and we're just going to go ahead and hide the panel itself, which visible equals false. So right off the bat. There we go, button, and then test, kick. You just sent the kick command to the server. Freeze, unfreeze, ban, don't work yet. 
but that's because we haven't done anything with them. So let's head back over to the panel and we're going to do the same thing with all of our different buttons that we've done. The quickest way to do this is just paste, 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 paste. So we should have four total. We're gonna have kick, ban, freeze, and unfreeze. And each one of these commands, it's gonna do the exact same thing. Which by the way, this is a really good point to do a module or a mo model script, module script. Uh, kick, what was this one? Ban, this one is freeze, and this one's unfreeze. So this is the part where it starts to get easier. We have our interface set up, we have our remote events, we have our checks and balances to make sure everything goes accordingly. So now the only part that we need to check for, the only part that we need to actually play with is right here inside the admin commands. So if check admin admin, then everything down here is admin. Let's do some commands. So if the command is kick, we're going to kick them. Um, let's see. Target colon kick. You have been kicked. If CMD equals ban, then, and the way that we can figure out the ban is let's check for the admin. Nope, not that one. Let's check for, hold on, this right here. Set async. Then, blink, like that. We're not going to kick the person. We're going to do. Uh, set async target user ID and we're going to do a kick as well let's do this you oh you have been banned by do concatenate and um, admin dot name And we can do the same thing for, uh, let's see, target, kick. We'll just add this in here. And it's the exact same reason. So we set our async for banned data. That way <clears throat> the person gets banned if they try and come back in. Ouch, they did get kicked. And it would also show their reasoning behind the kick. Um, now for the freeze, this is kind of fun. If CMD equals freeze, then um, game dot workspace find first child. We're gonna do target dot name dot head dot anchored equals true. Nice and easy. And we can do print freezing dot dot target dot name and the same thing with the unfreeze if it's unfreeze unfreezing target dot name anchored is false Let's do a file save because this is a this is a lot of stuff. Save to Roblox. Uh, admin panel example, that one right there, over right. Successfully saved. Good. File publish. Now, um, I think I should be able to go in here and test with multiple players, but I think the user ID is going to give me a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the server. There's two players. 
And this just says player, doesn't it? Oh, dang it. Player, player. So I'm not going to be able to use this, this command. Oh, no. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Are both of these players' IDs the same as mine? So that's not going to work. Okay. So let's change his name to Codebot. I can't change it on that level, can I? Maybe I can change it on the server level. Player one's going to be called Codebot. Nope, can't change it on that level. Dang it. But we do have player one, player two. Hmm. I wonder if that'll work with just player one, player two. Which one am I? I have no clue who I am. Okay. Let me do this. Okay, I am player one. That's player two over there. So, let's do player... Oh, it's capitals. Player two. We'll try the freeze. Oh. You were kicked from this experience. You're not an admin. <laughs> Dang it. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, shut it down. Clean up. Uh, okay. Let's go back over to the, uh, the admin panel. And let's do... Set async. Player one. Was there spaces in between them? Or no? Maybe. Hmm. Let's run that real quick. That should add him to the admin panel. And we need to get rid of that one. Otherwise I'm gonna get banned again. <laughs> Which is funny. Okay. Dash dash. So try that. Let's go da, 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 da. testing two player scripts. And I got lost. I didn't realize we're almost an hour into this. I hope you're enjoying. Good tutorial? Good tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Do, 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 do. So, player one should be able to, but player two. Oh, no, player two is still getting kicked. Reason attempting to invoke the admin panel. So hold on. Am I player two or am I player one? Let's hit leave. Who's still here? Player two is still here. So player one, let's go clean up. When we kick, do we kick by name or do we, what, how did we ban? Else, admin user ID attempting to invoke admin dot user ID. Oh, check ban right here. If successful, ban reason equals none. Oh, I forgot, I gotta do none. Well, that, that works. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. We're going to add in here. Um... Layer dot user ID dot dot reason. This way we can see what the reason is because this shouldn't be kicking me. It's not kicking me. So we'll hit stop. But when we go to plug a test, start. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> By the way, you can make a wish on a YouTuber sneeze. You don't get two wishes, just one. Just the one. Okay, we're, we should be good. So player one's all set. There's player two. 
Um, where's the output window? View output window. Nothing there. What about this one? View output window. Nothing there. So cool. Okay. Am I sitting on player one or player two? Oh, this is player two. We need to go back over to the other window. That window. There we go. Okay. So this should be player one. And I should have the admin panel. So we're going to do player two. Hopefully, freeze. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Kicked for attempting to use the admin commands. So I guess I didn't get it in there for... Uh... <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go back over to the other client. Clean it up. Testing, clean up. Oh, goodness. So this is the part that's always fun. <laughs> Run that real quick. Good. And then we should be able to take these out. And test. Start up for two players. I guess I could always just publish it and then use Samper Life, right? I mean, that would work. Which one am I? Player one. And that is me. Okay. So, let's try this again. Player two. Freeze. Okay, clean it up. Oh. What is going wrong here? So, we check for admin. We return true or false. Get async player user ID. But I am. That's the same one as me. Oh, wait a second. Print player dot user ID. Okay, so that's me. That's the true me. So let's hit stop. I think it might be zeros for the user ID. Go back to test the local server. I think this will have view output. Oh, we're about an hour in, right? Yeah, we're in. we are in an hour. So we got two is not admins. Negative one, negative two. Aha! -ha. Aha! -ha. There we go. Okay, so we'll do negative one, player one. So, test, clean it up. That's what's happening. So. Ban data. Negative one. I don't know if this is gonna work. Negative one. <laughs> Stop. So now let's take those out. Oh, no, 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 F5. We need to start up the server again. Um, test. Start up the server. Hopefully it works. I don't know if you can put negative numbers in as the reference number for the, uh, the asyncs, but it makes sense. If not, we'd have to use, like, a random number or something like that. Okay, players. Who are we? I am the player ones. Let's go look at the server. What did it say? Player one is an admin. Player two is not. So this is player two. And this is player one. So, button. Player two. We're going to freeze. That should have worked. I'm hoping it worked. 
did not work. Dang it, why didn't it work? Can I kick him? What about this player? Kick. Whoop, whoop. Did I just kick myself? <laughs> I don't even know if the panel's still working. Am I am I even in the game still? <laughs> I just hit delete over there, didn't I? Can I do control Z? That's fine. Player two. Kick. Kick 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 kick. What's the server doing? What's the dog doing? Attempted to call a nil value. Target. Target. Kick. You have been kicked. Hmm. But the, the target is not nil. What? Okay. Maybe I spelt something wrong. Let's go back over to test. Clean it up. Okay. Let's go back to the panel. There we go. Target dot text. Target is panel dot text player name. Hang on, that that's how it works. So if it's blank or if it's nil, you need target first. Else fire the server for the command. Target dot text. Okay. So let's do this. Print sending dot dot cmd dot dot for dot dot target dot text. Okay. Test kick. You were kicked this experience attempting the admin commands. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I need that one back, and I need to unban myself. There we go. So I should be an admin, and I should be unbanned. Stop. Take these back. F5. OK, button, test. It seems to call a nil value. Target. Kick. Target. Hold on. You just sent the kick command to the server. Server. But it doesn't say what the target was. There we go. Sending kick for test. Why are we not getting target? Okay. Let's do this. Print server. Then we can do the admin that sent it. The command that was sent. And our target. So now, test. Attempted to concatenate an instance with a string. An instance? Hold on. Let's take that back out. Print type target. Oh, stop. So what is target? A 
It's a string. Okay. Oh, it is a string. So we can't use kick. It's not a, it's not a player. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Where did that go? So we can just do this. Let's do target equals uh, game dot players find first child target. And that should return us the target of the target. <laughs> Okay, so this is not going to make a whole lot of sense. Um, when we're passing it in, it's the string of a text box. We need to actually go and find the player that corresponds to the name. So that's what we're doing here. Find the first child of the text. So, test. And this should fail. Attempted to index nil. So, let's do code primate. Code primate. Kick. Yay. So that's working. So, oh wait, can we do, let's do the, 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 the two people. We should be able to do player two now. I think that'll work. Maybe. Fingers crossed, everyone. There we go. And which player am I? Let's go to workspace, highlight player one. It's not this one. It's going to be this one. Player one. All right. We're going to do... Uh, freeze. Oh, you need a target first. Player two, freeze. Sending freeze to player two, or for player two. <gasps> Yay, I am frozen. Look at that. Frozen in place. Can't move, can't do anything. So, let's go back over. We're going to issue the unfreeze. Yay, we're unfrozen. And then we should be able to do the kick. You were kicked from this experience. You have been kicked. Done. That is it. Uh, I would do the band, but I also don't have an unband, so I don't want to ban the the band, but the, the, the band. But uh, thank you everyone for watching this La Mag series with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as we create admin panels. Again, this is only functional. All right, you can do all kinds of great, beautiful GUIs and, and just make it beautiful. Um, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work to be put in to get your remote events to work properly, to test everything, but keep at it. Keep doing your best. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, notifications on. <sighs> Outro.